Really, Nashville? Really? This has to be some sort of sick joke. The Nashville Predators have signed John Hines to be their new coach after firing their previous one. Now, look, I normally, and I try not to, I try to do my best not to go out there, bash, especially in this case, bash a coach before he even had a chance to prove himself on Nashville. But I mean, I passed up the water boy the other day. And yeah, I asked him and he's like, sure, yeah, I'll take the Nashville coaching job. So I know there was better options out there than John Hines. John Hines, who, if we're wondering, taking a look at that resume, what he's done in his NHL coaching career in five seasons, including this season being fired from the Devils. His teams have finished seventh, eighth, fourth, eighth, and eighth in their respective divisions. That is not a very good look. So you can say what you want about the talent he was given. Fact of the matter is, he inherited an elite goalie in Corey Snyder. Yes, we said elite there when he first took over the Devils. One season later, the guy fell off a cliff. You also look at the guys the Devils brought in, Taylor Hall, Subban, Vatnin, and he sure Hughes Simmons Johansson I mean we can go down a list of pieces this team tried to bring in to make this team better now I'm not calling all these guys you know complete game changers and elite players but I'm calling them guys that would be a quote-unquote role player type of guy where un put under the right system put under a good coaching staff couldn't go out there and make these guys success su successful bring out the best in them and at the very least in the devil's case make the team competitive I'm sorry three eighth place teams a seventh place team that's not a competitive team year in and year out and Hines was a guy in New Jersey that was heavily scrutinized for not being able to motivate his team not being a good coach at making that you know improving his team along the stretch of the season and it showed it really did show and again sure yeah we can point fingers and say he was dealt a bad hand and this and that but then again who thought the islanders would be as good as they are when Tavares left look what trots has done over there heck you can look at what torts is doing this season with the blue jackets right now a team absolutely torn to shreds in the offseason a team that seemingly is rocking half an ahl squad right now due to the fact of how many players they have injured and they are still one of the hottest teams in hockey so i find that as a poor excuse of what you have given on the ice a good coach will make the best of what he has out there and at least make them look somewhat competitive and i do believe new jersey did have a team that could have been somewhat competitive maybe i'm you know outstretched for saying that but good coaches take the talent they have implement a system that'll make them flourish and make them win games in five seasons as a head coach john hines says yet to show he has the ability to do that and you know out of all the coaches fired this year again you talk about guys getting fired maybe hire one of the fired ones now obviously some of these guys were you know fired for on talent related or should we say performance related issues here but you look at Heinz though he's the only guy this year that was fired with a career losing record as a head coach and again for whatever reason I don't, I don't know I don't understand it I don't understand if this is a team that wants to be competitive you want I understand getting a coach with experience but wouldn't you think you want a coach with experience that's proven he can do something before and you know you already look at the first game he's had in Nashville now granted Heinz just walked in the building it was game day versus the Bruins. You know, you ain't going to go out there, implement a system 12 hours before the game and say, you know what, here's the new system we're going to run. We're going to play great hockey tonight. It's going to be fantastic. But something you do notice a lot of times when coaches do get fired, specifically on teams that are, you know, expected to be good teams, like we did see with Toronto and Babcock this year. They quit playing for him. He got fired and they went out there firing on all cylinders the next night. Like it was that, you know, response from the locker room saying, we appreciate the move you made. We think this team's going to be better. We back the new coach. And, you know, you see that sort of, shall we call it motivation or i don't even know that like i said that jolt it, at least in the first couple periods of a game and this team came out you know fall into the bruins now the bruins aren't a bad team by any stretch of the imagination but you know what we just described from a team perspective to a coach i don't think we've seen that yesterday i don't think we've seen that nashville locker room say yep this is our guy we like this guy this is it we're gonna play well for him i don't think we've seen that and you already know you know number one rule as far as having a coach is you gotta have the locker room so far that's not looking too good for him but again i tell you it's it's literally barely been 24 hours he's been this team's coach so it's too early to tell something like that just looking at a pure resume a pure you know logic perspective it doesn't make sense for the predators to say let's take a chance on a guy that's not proven himself on a team that we think can win right now i hope he can make nashville better i hope nashville can be successful i hope they can make playoffs this year and i do think they have a very talented team for the sake of Hines, no matter what we think about him right now he can prove us all wrong and go out there and say look i'm a lot better coach than you're saying i am and turn this team around and i'd love to see him do it